is up. So just quick shooting impressions. This is the V7 Harbinger 308, 16-inch barrel. What I've done on this, I put a uh, put a Seekins mount, and then I've got a Vortex Razor 1 to 10 Gen 3 optic. I also did switch the safety out to to an Ambi safety, also made by V7. I have not put a cherry bomb on here yet. I've kept this stock on for now. So initial impressions after shooting this thing, I mean, I didn't shoot it a lot. You know, it's a 308. I'm not going to go put 300 rounds to a 308 usually. But, you know, I put about 50 rounds through it or something. It's, you know, it's super smooth. It's fun to shoot. In terms of recoil and stuff, this thing is so light, it's unbelievable. And you kind of can t you kind of can feel that in the recoil, especially especially with this stock, which is not one of my favorites. This Mission First Tactical minimalistic stock. You know, again, it's not one of my favorites. I'll probably switch this out to a Magpul SLS. I think that'll make it a little bit better. But overall, man, and you can see the gun is clear, the bolts open, right? For all you all you Karens out there so but otherwise it's good i mean it's it's fun this it's super smooth it's got a, i think it's got an h h2 buffer in here uh, maybe h3 i don't remember the bolt carrier group is titanium the whole thing is really smooth i love the stock in here the the the, the buffer tube that lithium aluminum buffer tube and everything is coated it's really really smooth so anyway more to come out this gun is incredibly light man I thought that AK was light, but then my dad handed me this gun. I mean, like, I mean, like a seven-year-old could go out and kill a deer with this crap. Maybe not with the recoil, but still, it feels super nice too, man. Yeah. It has a great feel. Yeah, it's a nice gun. A lot of blood right here. I mean, this is this is kind of graphic. Probably should have warned warned y'all, but hey, if you're on my page, you probably know what to expect, right? So.